This tutorial is about increasing OpenStack volume size. Uh, I have already installed OpenStack in VirtualBox. To see the current volume size, we have to go to the terminal. So, terminal. Okay. Our terminal is ready. And these are the steps how to increase OpenStack default volume size. To check the current default size, the command is VGS. I will type here VGS. Okay, this message means you have to be root user to show the current volume size. Now I am going to become root user sudo hyphen i. Okay, now I am root user, clear the screen. Now type pgs. Here you can see this is the current volume size and there are two types of uh, volume size is a uh, stack volume default and stack volume LVM driver 1. Uh, I am using open stack uh, by dev stack so this uh, volume name is important and the default size is here 10.01 GB G means here GB or gigabyte okay uh, suppose I want to increase this 10 GB to 150 GB uh, it is essential to increase the volume size because uh, to install an instance you have to be minimum 15 to 20 GB to install any cloud image so it is necessary to increase any OpenStack volume size uh, now next uh, command was PVSX current available physical device which is related to VGS so I am typing here PVS okay here uh, this is the device loop 0 and loop 1 and uh, which is attached to stack volume default and stack volume LVM driver 1 ok go to the next step this is the step uh, where I will set the size of my volume copy no, paste ok uh, seek size here seek size is the uh, uh, volume size I want to increase suppose I am uh, going to set it 150 GB ok enter next step lose up dev here device uh, loop 3 is using you can use loop 2 or loop 4 as you wish ok next fds okay. here uh, I have to type some command uh, first in then p then 1 enter enter and uh, after that T, H, E and W T, H, E and W ok our setting is completed next step is to create the physical volume copy 
next okay physical william they blue tree successfully created go to the next step now extend the volume size which you want to extend copy and paste here i will change the volume name remove the current one and the volume name i will choose is stack volume lv driver one copy and paste okay volume group x, x uh, stack volume lvm driver one successfully extended now i can check the current volume size by pvs here you can see the volume new volume is attached with my lvm driver one and is the new volume that is recently created now i can create any instance uh, echo, uh, attaching this volume so go to the dashboard uh, this is our dashboard and currently i have no instance created yet so uh, this page will be empty okay. here I will create a large size volume which is more than 10 GB uh, and which will uh, get the size from the our newly created volume which is attached to loop 3 loop 3 device okay Suppose I keep the uh, volume name as volume web server. Here you can see there is only one type LVM driver 1 that I have shown before. Okay. Now I will set the size. Suppose my size is 80 GB. 80 GB. Uh, I have a, another uh, 70 GB. See. Okay. And create volume. Here. <coughs> you can see here the volume web server is created size is 80 GB available means this volume is uh, not attached with any instance yet and I will create a new instance and use this volume to install any image okay next go to the instance link go to the network option here you can see uh, public network is already created and now I will create my private net and private subnet private net which is up next private subnet ok internet network address manually I am typing here one nine two dot one six eight 
डॉट वन टू टू डॉट वन स्लैश ट्वेंटी सेवन मेक इट एम टी सॉरी कीप इट एम टी है नेक्स्ट डी एन एस सेम सर्वर एट पॉइंट एट पॉइंट एट पॉइंट एट एट पॉइंट एट पॉइंट फोर पॉइंट फोर एंड नाउ क्रिएट Okay, our private net is created already. Next, create router. Create router. Give the name of the router. Router. external network public create router okay our new router is created click on the router link and create a new interface click on interface tab uh, already exist a interface i will create a new interface here choose the subnet from here private net mm, give this uh, blank now submit okay our new interface is created Now, if you click on the network topology, here you can see the current network topology. This is our public network. This is private network. and this is the router if you click on the graph then you can see the view like this if i click the toggle level then it will name of the each portion it will show the name of the each portion okay now my network is ready volume is ready and i can create the instance now okay instance now i will create a new instance so click on the instance option Here is the launch instance button. Click on it. Type the instance name here. I am giving web server the name of my new instance. Next, choose the image. 
uh, I will choose uh, Santos 7. It's a minimal ISO image of Santos 7. Okay. And uh, choose no create new volume because uh, here I will use our existing volume that I have got already created before. Next, uh, choose the size of your instance. Uh, you can change it later also. And I am choosing one GB, one GB RAM and ten GB disk. Okay, it is selected. Next, private net is already selected. Uh, next, and the next. Now, you have to choose the key pair. There is no existing key pair here. Okay. To create new key pair, click on the button, click key pair and here you type your keep your name I'm typing my key okay create keep here and save the keep here in the disk okay next 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 and now click launch instance wait here to complete the task okay here you can see our new instance is creating Okay, now our instance is running. In the next tutorial, I will show how to attach the volume with this instance and install the Cento 7 minimal ISO image in this instance. Okay, goodbye for now.